of a park district or a school district right. or a village specific email mm -hmm. that goes, you know, and, and there's a variety of reasons that's useful. You don't have to be putting your own personal email out there right. any more than you want to. Mm -hmm. Plus, if we ever get a FOIA request, you can immediately, you know, determine which are, you know, at least that category. There's a lot of other that we would, in fact, if, if it ever came to that, have to search our own. But at least there would be that category that would be very easy to get to. So um, we now have, Curtis, right. yeah, you have... So does that mean it's going on the website? Well, yes. let's just, yes. well, yes, okay. the goal is to put it on the website. And and the other piece on that, too, is it will become our responsibility, right. as it really always was, to respond to people to who want to contact us. And, you know, put it on your memo. So will Cynthia, for meeting scheduling, will we send oh, to okay. those emails, to that email? You're still going to use our own oh, no. emails yes. for regular scheduling. This is for yeah. this is for patron public comment to contact the trustees. It's the one that's going to get posted on the website. Okay. Now, not all of you have emails. Who, who has them? No, everyone does now. Everybody everyone does now. now. Okay. Yep. We're all everyone good. Does now. I think that's good, that it's consistent, too, that we have a consistent policy across the board. I have a question. Sure. Yes. Is there a way that your system can, can forward emails that uh, yes, are received here to our regular, regular account. email account without disclosing where it's being but sent. But then are you still going to have the FOIA issue? Right. That's you exactly know, right. Yes, it can be done. We just need to know that. And then our computer consultant said it's no problem to do that. The question is, there's two options. You forward it and delete it from the mm -hmm. your trustee account, mm -hmm. or you forward it and it stays in both. My recommendation that it stays in both. I would keep it in both. Because then you would have... Then you can correspond on that one. Right. You can correspond on that one. You can keep your uh, own personal email separate, and then it th then you have a record of all your... Well, the, the issue that I'm concerned about is I am not Good going to, to be it. checking it on a regular basis. Yes. No, it can be done... If something comes in on the library account, and I know that it's there, I can use the library address to respond. Absolutely. But if I don't know that it's there, I'll never respond to it at all. Well, there's some, it is good, but I mean, I'm going to tell myself, just like I check my own re email on a regular or irregular basis, <coughs> i.e. compulsively, I'll just have to remember to check this. But I do like the idea of getting us information on how to forward these things. Well, no, you can't do that. It's the computer consultant has to set okay, that so up. Then we'll so you just have to let me know if you okay. want your mail forwarded, and then and I would, okay. we, and then I submit a ticket, and he'll do it for us. But in the meantime, um, it's going up on the... Um, it will go on. If we everything's okay with this, it'll go up tomorrow. Okay. Or if not, tomorrow, Thursday. Can we change our password? Um, yeah, that's like an, uh, I know, it's a very difficult password. If you really, truly want oh, to. Oh, no, I was just curious if, it was a, if this is temporary. If it's, if this is no, no, that's okay. a, that's oh. a, you could change it, but they have to change it. This was my pet dog when I was growing up. <laughs> Put it in the usual secure place where you have all your other yeah, yeah, passwords yeah, yeah, right, written yeah. down that you're I'm not supposed to write. I'm going to tattoo it to my house. That was good. Nobody will ever guess it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, I just didn't know. Okay, well, you. I you do want to say, though, for the record, that we did have a way to contact trustees before, but it was one email address. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that e and this was done, like, in 2006. Mm -hmm. And then that was sent to the administrative assistant, and she would then uh, forward it out. Mm -hmm. And in general, Cynthia, how many emails? Because we have our regular patron comment section where we right. get an awful lot of things. In general, how many emails in the course of a year would you get? Not, not many. That were from a patron. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We would get included in them were, were quite often um, some information from ILA and ALA and other conferences and scheduling and that kind of stuff. Well, I think I think it's a good idea because with the information there, I mean, 
And I, and I would anticipate that there's a chance that we'll get more emails than traditionally came on the because they can see, oh, I can contact so and so. And so I think that's a good thing. I'll email you. Pardon? I'll email you. <laughs> I'll email you. <laughs> yes, on my own. For certain issues, at what point in terms of we answering it versus yeah. copying someone, yeah. what should that protocol yeah, be? Yeah, that's a good question. I, I think if it's, I think we'll all have to use our judgment as trustees. I t tend to want to think a ton of them are going to be all trustees, uh, but possibly not. Um, any individual trustee can contact me. Uh, can contact Cynthia, can contact Gail. There may well be issues that, in fact, we have absolutely no information on. Uh, so we really can't respond other than, thank you so much for your inquiry. Um, I'll be happy, you know, to forward it to the appropriate person, and I will get back to you. Something like is probably what 95% of what any comments, and we've already heard, there's really not likely because we have our regular comment section at the desk and that's where most of our comments come from mm -hmm. um, but it's good to offer the opportunity yeah, I, I yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, on, no. online and, and I, you know we do take the comments from our suggestion box very seriously and we take the comments that come in online when there are very seriously mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. and um, so is there well, I don't think a this story behind this one well, not. actually, I am meeting with this gentleman Thursday morning mm -hmm. so that I can address his issues. Oh, okay. So we've communicated with each other, mm -hmm. and um, I'm actually looking forward to having a face-to-face because -face, I He's think that's... an interesting guy. Well, mm -hmm. I think it's easier to um, to talk in yes, person to course. someone versus right. the email and going back and forth. Yeah, right. that gets ridiculous. And my only question would be what... Um, um, what would be the cost of each of these items? Like, maybe... You could, before you meet with him, you could find out what the cost of each of these right. items would be. And to talk to the yeah. individual librarians that they are responsible yeah. to yeah. him. Yeah. And mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Just to see, right. you know. If well, it's, and one of the things that... Because um, I have no idea that it could be... $10, it could be right. $400. Mm -hmm. Well, Betty, you have a little bit of information on that, you but said. Yeah, but maybe we should just... Just minutes. allow you. And then we'll step. talk about it next month. Yeah, if there's any okay. further follow up that we need to address, then we'll yeah. deal with it. I cool. will say one thing, unfortunately. Um, he, One of his um, PPS was yeah. in the website, was running errors, and it was during that little particular time yeah. oh. that the website was down. Yeah. And as soon as we knew about it, we got it fixed. But there was a short window on mm -hmm. um, that day that the our website was down. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm sorry that that happened. We do have a little bit outdated, but we do have a collection policy. That was something, this one, it was revised as of 2003. <laughs> um, so it's outdated. Heather had actually started work with all of the different selectors to move forward with a collection, mm -hmm. a new one. And I think that's something that would be good if we had something that's more updated. Right. But there was something on page 19 that um, the library encourages at all times and at all times welcomes patron suggestions, comments, and ideas about the collection and its development. Mm -hmm. So we seriously are more than happy to hear what a patron has to suggest, but sometimes, um, for example, the product isn't available uh -huh. for public library use. Mm -hmm. So there's there's more, certainly this is our, our public stance, but sometimes it can't always mm -hmm. happen. Do you want to share the email glitch? Can you speak up? Do you want to share any more about the email glitch with Mr. Axelrod? Right. He contacted me, so I figured we could. It's right here, isn't it? Um, not that piece. Well, that was the reason why we're making the change, and I, Inadvertently, it was replied to him versus forwarded to another. It was forwarded to him instead of a staff person. And it was, the question was, that particular email, as you see here in front of you, would it send to the board? We, it's here. We are definitely always going to give you all the information that we need. For example, in one of the um, patron comments, it, it was a 
a critical comment about one of our staff members, and that's right here, not filled. Here it is. It was just unfortunate that it wasn't able to be responded to, because the answer would have been from interim directors, our previous directors, yes, of course, forwarded to the board. Mm -hmm. I, I'll just share. I, I happen to know Jeff. He contacted. Could you speak up, Dan? Yeah, I happen to know okay. Jeff. He contacted me about this issue at first, and I said, I don't know. Why don't you just email the board? Uh, so he emailed the board, and I think there was an email glitch, and the uh, his response didn't get to the board at first, and right. it, uh, he got a response back saying, should this be sent to the board or not? He got upset about that. Um, you know, he felt that from his perspective. Uh, he wasn't able to communicate directly with trustees, so I just want everyone to be aware he's a little bit upset. Um, you know, I, um, I think this is great, right? The problem got resolved, so now anybody can contact the board directly. But we should be aware that, uh, from his perspective, he felt he wasn't able to communicate with uh, the trustees directly because of some email glitch. Um, and that he's sort of um, unhappy about that. Um, and so hopefully I'm glad that you're meeting with him, but right. um, you know, it, from his perspective, it felt like he wasn't uh, able to communicate. That was, uh, I think, part of the issue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I and I, that's why I said I'm really looking forward to talking to him to explain it, hear his point of view as well. And so it's a difficult time timing. between one director leaving a new director, and, and we had this whole email thing, sort of. We've talked about it right, before, right, but right, it right. just we never quite got around to it. What with one thing or another, but I'm glad that actually I, you speak right. to him. Glad that. Brought it to the fore that so exactly. got us yeah. to take a step exactly. that we sort of yeah. that we did have our list to do and now we're getting it done. So that's a good thing. One other remark um, I would offer is that public records databases are widely available directly from the source. Uh, the library doesn't create any public records other than the records of our own meetings and, well, there and activities. There are some databases that we want, and, you know, and the, Gail will work on Well, that. that's possible, but the problem, the, what I would point out, though, is there are no public records databases that you cannot access easily from home or an office. I do it all the time across a wide range of organizations and institutions. It is not generally a role that is required anymore. There was a time when it was more beneficial because the records were harder to access online. But I can get into almost any agency or source that has the authority to maintain the records and, and view unlimited items of information about all sorts of topics, because I do it all the time. Well, and, and so there may be a lot of redundancy between what he's suggesting there and what may, already there exists with no difficulty. There may be something no particular difficult. he was looking for, and Gail's going to drill down on that and, that and see yeah. what it, you know. And Betty, do you have anything <coughs> to add? Um, well, I would say that uh, there, that we did have several communications with Mr. Axelrod about uh, some of the products he mentions. One is cranes, which mm -hmm. um, you might be referring to, Jay. We do have it on mm -hmm. any digital platform. We have mm -hmm. it through two different sources, and mm -hmm. I have discussed that with him via email and phone call. Um, there is a public records database. You're right. A lot of that information is available online for free, but they do sort of package it for consumers in a mm -hmm. product, and some libraries have it and some don't. We just haven't had uh, much demand apart mm -hmm. from right. recent uh, requests. Mm -hmm. um, so I can speak to those. So. Okay. okay. We uh, certainly will reevaluate based on that request, but. Uh -huh. Thank you. All right. Um, director's report. Exciting. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, so I, I'll go through each piece. If you have any questions, please ask. Mm -hmm. um, the first piece I will speak to, um, in fact, I, 
I feel that the staff is very comfortable, which is lovely, having mm -hmm. Betty and I working as mm -hmm. interim co-directors. I'm very grateful for Betty for being <laughs> there with me, being my <laughs> pal. And also the um, the staff has been very supportive, and so I think that's working that's out. That's great. I think it's working out very well. Um, we did have staff attend the Reaching Forward conference, and what was nice to see that it was staff from a number of different departments, and mm. so that was, it's always a good conference. It's not that expensive, and it's very close, so it's, it, it, conferences are always great for just increasing your enthusiasm mm -hmm. about working in a library. Um, also, we're in the, our evaluation period time. This, um, so all of the supervisors are working on their direct reports, but this year the, um, so Betty and I won't be evaluated unless I can evaluate you, Betty, and you can do me. <laughs> but um, we're gonna change a little bit how we're, Betty and I have divided the, the leadership team up into each, we each have a few people. We're not going to do a formal evaluation with them, but we're going to have what we call our, um, a discussion mm -hmm. about goals and what their views and where they want their job to go. Because I also think it's 